you see? But they could not swim. Most of them suffer from asthma. That's our command. You follow me? They have a hard time what? Breathing. That's why in your Marvel comic books, it was written by Stan Lee. Because I told you all that David Hudson, who discovered the monoatomics, or he discovered rather, gave it to four of his friends. One, what's now? Gene Roddenberry, who wrote Star Trek. Two, Stan Lee, who wrote Marvel comic books. Three, what's now? George Lucas, who, who did E.T., Star Wars, you follow me? And Jurassic Park, right? And guess who else he gave it to? Baba, who wrote the Holy What? Tablets. You see? So each one of them had their memories, what? Restored. And they had to put the truth under the butt Baba. Baba had his memory restored, but he did not put the truth under a cloak of a thing called science fiction. When everybody should have figured out that nothing in science is fictional. If you saw the predator and you saw how intricately that motherfucker had dreadlocks, that motherfucker's mouth put him up like this, motherfucker, can't nobody sit down on the table and dream up some shit like that. They would have had them see that shit somewhat. Where? Where? And they did, because those beings come from, listen, the crazy star constellation. Okay? You follow what I'm saying? Yeah. So again, yeah. there's nothing in fiction, there's nothing in science that is fictional. And that's why Nubians all over the world, when those star, star shows would come on, would be around the television or at the movie theater, because you had such a great connection with those types of uh, entertainment uh, 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 events. Because you were anything that had to do with the stars in the sky of got your interest immediately because you came from the stars. You see? Well, that's why E.T. phone went phone home. You see? And again, if you look at Dr. Spock on the Starship Enterprise, and you look at a long character by the name of Submariner, you're looking at the exact same what? Person. Beings, that's right. And, and this Submariner, skin tone was green, and so was Spock. <laughs> and again, what well, now? Spark moved off of logic, right? Yes. What do you think New Waffle is? Sound right reasoning. Logic. Logic. Sound right reasoning. Logic. Same thing. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Now, yes. you have a, a being whose name was Submariner, who was under the water. Whether you know it or not, that's me. Submariner. What's now? His name was what? Nemo. Prince Nemo. Right? And yes. his name was Nemo. Which is spelled N E M what? Oh. Did you know that that's one of two of these names also? Oh, I swear to you. Don't believe me. Check it out. And why it is. But you also had a cat named Aquaman. Who had to wear suit to come into what? Ooh. That was asked for our what? Command. Command. You follow me? Yes, I follow. Because they couldn't go on the border, listen, unless they had something to assist them to be able to breathe. You follow me? Yes. Yes. 
And so again, the amoeba came by virtue of the breaking of the galactical law. Because as our command is using your water on this planet to procreate themselves, they're hybrid that can't have what? Uh, reproduce. True. Babies. They can't have babies. That's why the war is being fought over what? Fertility. Okay, are you understanding me? Yes. So, again, yes. how are they recreating themselves? I'll tell you how. Appropriating? Because ashes, listen, ashes to ashes and dust to what? Dust. The dust, dust. is what many people will do to their family members in Berlin. They will have their family members cremated, not realizing that for the 72 hours, that being is still very much fucking what? Alive. And they feel that but uh, yeah. That's hell. Because then, watch, they take your ashes and put it in an urn, right? And then they take it to the ocean and sprinkle it across the waters, correct? Yes. Well, that's your amoeb amoebas coming out of those ashes that then, by virtue of what evaporation, goes right back into their eastern blood net that you call clouds. <laughs> as real as a fuck. You see? Yes, I see. Because the ashes, they break galactical law because they're not supposed to put anything into another planet's what? Waters. And the only way they're able to sustain themselves is through ashes, which is why you have ash Wednesday. Like the brother said, well, I said to my somebody, I said, yo, man, I'm getting out. He couldn't let me out. He said, when? I said, Wednesday. He said, you go on Wednesday? I said, yeah, Wednesday, let me. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> okay? So again, they created a thing called Ash, what? Wednesday. What? When they let me do what it is I'm doing and not be able to find what out. That I'm putting a symbol of death on each and every one of their foreheads because it's on a window. When they let me put my ashes into the water that I then can, listen, procreate my what? As a member of Ash, I what? A man. A pain in the ready ass. Because again, they utilize the A, right now, they utilize the A. Excuse me, Chief. Chief, excuse me, your, your camera's on. Okay, there you go. My bad. <laughs> anyway, they utilize what right now their, their ashes to procreate themselves and in this what right now you have a situation occurring because they are hiding that they created, listen, the letter J because they wanted to stop, listen, the Lamb of the Most High. So the letter J was created because they took the letter Lamb in Hebrew, which looks like a L that goes up like this, and the letter Lamb in, uh, uh, excuse me, Lamb in Hebrew and Lamb in Arabic, and they blocked it. They just took the line and do it right across the white top, creating the letter what J. Then they put the A, which stood for Ask Our Command, right 
behind the letter J. Watch now, because when you put the letter A at the end of any name, it moves it from its masculine tense to its feminine tense. Where Eric becomes Erica, Tony becomes Tanya, Alexander becomes Alexandria. Okay, I'm saying that's so that's the promotion of homo what? Sexuality. Why? Because in alchemy, that which is not must be presented first. So if they were after our fertility, they had to create and produce the most unfertile act that would ever be known to human beings. Which is how they came with the Ten Commandments. Because when you say commandment, now you're talking about the same sex union act of two men. So, Man, man. You follow? Comes to man, man. So what they're saying is that's talking about the same sex union act of two what men called homosexual whatality. Because they had to produce the most unfertile act that could ever be known, ready, to man. Okay, are you with me? Yes. Now, if then. That's when Eric becomes Erica, Tony becomes Tanya, Alexander becomes Alexandria. Okay, are you with me? Yes. So they put the A behind the letter J, and then they put their annual name right behind that, which was Zeus, which produced the word Jesus, which is where you get the name Jesus from. Okay? So that's who created that name. And I said, they shall come in my name, Yahshua, saying that I, Yahshua, am Jesus, believe them not. <laughs> they shall deceive many. But they trusted it, and they said, many shall come in my name, saying that I am Jesus, believe them not, but they shall deceive many. So they shut it up with anybody who came along, saying that they were the Messiah. Everybody would turn and look at that person and think they were lying. You follow that? Yeah. That's what they're diabolical students that are still on going. Because you go in a Catholic church, anything that stands as representation of a thing and the outcome is given to you thing, and love comes up to you and says, the body of Jesus. And I'm so going to put that shit in my mouth? That's cannibalism. You know what I'm talking about? The blood of Jesus. I'm always going to drink that. That's vampire. And you talk about that, and nobody ever figured that shit the fuck what? You go in and you put your hand on the urn, and you take and you make the sound of the cross over your body, which is a symbol of what? Death. If you wear a cross on your neck, that's a symbol of wearing a small neck. Around your neck. Because the cross was the means by which Paul executed his prisoners on the death row. Like America executes his prisoners on the death row by electric chair. So the electric chair and the cross would be the exact same fucking thing. You follow? Yeah, I follow. Yeah. So, if you think about that, no doubt. Bingo, exactly. And and you know what? And they they drew up the cross right now and shot it into the mainstream. Mainstream America. Mainstream mentality of everybody who was involved in this thing called religion, which was the main thing that kept people from ever coming together as a family. We're calling the word belief, and belief is listen, the seed of the devil. Because it's not you accepting things that you ain't sure is true. And they put you under the spell of ghost worship and called it the gospel. Ghost spell. Gospel. Same thing. Bow. 
Hallelujah. Because they taught the Bible to the best, they're right. Because who went in is a lie. And they say the only one is a lie is a lie in the spirit. So that it can't be good but worship. And it's ghost spell. And they only tried to get that spell by spelling or in a way by which it can finally be made clear to those of you who, like I said many times before, if you and I walked into a bookstore and bought a 13 inch black and white TV, and we get it home and it takes us a week to figure out how to cut it up, why? Because me and you ain't never seen a TV before. So we cut it up, when it comes on, we're going to do like this. Ah, wow, now what? And the thing is playing fuck up, but the me and you is playing just fuck fuck. Why? Because we ain't ever seen a TV before. It takes us a week to figure out how to turn the channel. And it's playing fuck up. But the me and you is playing just fuck. Till one day somebody comes in and we're like, man, move out the way. We're watching I Love Lucy, man, move out the way. And man, why do I watch it like this? And for the very first time, we see somebody take the antenna and move it and bring it, the picture in clear. What are we going to do? We're going to look at each other, look back at the, at the picture, and be like, yeah, we should have been watching it like that the whole time. Right? Yes. Well, the look at the white TV I'm talking about, listen, is, is life. <laughs> It's the planet Earth. <laughs> and the picture's playing fucked up. But to me and you, it's playing just what? Fine. Because we ain't never seen <laughs> no other planet before. So it's playing just fine right up until Bob comes and he moves the antenna. And now the picture's playing clearer than what? Yeah. Ever than ever before. And they were mad as a motherfucker because that picture that was playing fucked up anymore, they wanted to stay playing that fucked up to the point that you all were, would never be able to see anything real that was going on. And bingo, because they were feeding you dualities in a three-dimensional world that couldn't possibly be reality because they were short by the one from the what? Star, a duality in a three-dimensional world. They told you two, four, six, eight is even, right? Yeah. Even if that's not true, because then you have three, six, nine, twelve. How is it that two odds can produce an even, but two evens can't produce an odd? Well, that's not even at what? All. And is it two things that the trend has something to keep in, or is it three? It's three, but absolutely right, because in order for something to be declared even, that means you have to take the two objects and put them onto the traits of Libra, the scale of Libra. Everybody's so busy looking at the two places that they forget. There's a funny thing that is suspending the two places. So there's not two things that declare even, it's three. But they took the center of everything out. Want to know why? Because they know the sanity belongs to me. You see, they never wanted you all to look at the center of what? Of anything. They don't want you to look into the center of anyone. Then, if I say hot, you say, oh. Well, what about warm? You see? And that's a real easy one. If I say up, you say down. What about that? Which is neither up nor down. Now watch this. But if I say God and the double, the question is, what is in the center of that? 
is to say good and evil. What system is sick of that is to say light and darkness. What system is sick of that? Because the same thing is in one of those places, system all three, and it becomes a horse of a different color. Why? Because that's not so easily answered. Well, what system between God and the devil? The confused. What system between light and darkness? The confused. What system between good and evil? The confused. Which is why 144,000 of you has yet to rise. The reason being is because they tampered with the formula that would have given you all your path paid by what you were driven a long time ago. They said, it, what, now the man has become like one of us. He knows good, one thing, right? Evil, two things. Which should have let you know that the formula was missing one what? Thing. Because this is a three-dimensional what? World. World. Because it should have been, now the man has become like one of us, he knows good. One thing, evil. Two things, and what exists in between, which is the confused. And you all don't have had that information long time ago, y'all would have written long time ago. That's why I'm here. To cause 144,000 people to finally get up and buy to be king. Because it's an extravaganza and a celebration of life. Now, I'm out of but need I say more? And if I don't say so, I think I said that it's quite what? Well, not bad for a book. Yes, Jesus, indeed. Very well. You follow that? Right? Now, what I want you to do is take that recording there and put it out there. Back it. Back it. And put it out there. Shut it up, fam. Shut it up. And please don't take forever doing it. I can't stand that shit. When I sit box it back and just put it out there, I want it out there as quick as you possibly can get it there. <laughs> you get off the phone with me and you go right to work to put it in the the show and you get it out there before 12 o'clock this afternoon. <laughs> You see, that's how it's supposed to be done. With all that lazy, shiftless, I'll get it. Oh, no, I, I feel a little bit. That's not how it should be after everything that we as to have both have done for y'all. You should be honest. Yes, if we say jump to say how high when you want to when you want us to come down. You should be honest. Because I want y'all to know it's a lot of other things we should be doing with our time than focusing on a bunch of niggas that don't want to do anything for their fucking work. So so truth is what? True. True. So you should be, it's like the story of Cain and Abel. Every work that you do is your sacrifice. Now either you're going to bring your best to the table, or you're just going to throw something together and say, fuck it, I, 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 I fuck my eye, I don't care if my name ain't Abel. Oh, keep in mind, I'm Abel, are you? Because the question, then I'm going to do the very best that I can do. And I'm going to get it done because I'm able. Because either you are able or you are a cane. And a cane is a staff that a disabled person will use to get them from point A to point B. We are the elders call it an excuse. Because you got motherfuckers who do just enough to say they did what? Something. Would you like not doing nothing at what? Oh. They'll sweep the fuck out the floor, but won't take no garbage out though. Won't wash no dishes. Won't come out with a poop. All motherfuckers they talk about I'm looking for the dust pan. You follow it? Yes, Chief. So again, if I go box it, bag it, put it out there, you have opportunity to earn a blessing. 
Meaning, meaning if you do it the very best you can, right away, as hard as you can, give out to people, because they need to hear that shit just as bad as you need to hear. Won't you think so? Yes, Chief. Yes. So that, so you should be like, man, I got it. I guess this is my service, this is my sacrifice to God and what? I know. So, that's right, so you do, if you sit up together or lay in the eyes of children, and you chain all over them. You don't see that? Yes, I see. Shout out, man. Shout out.